Hey everybody, welcome to Wisdom Wednesday. My name is Debbie. I'm Norm. And we're coming to you live from the farmer's field today. I'm gonna try to just flip this around. And uh, so we're out in the pickup and uh, why don't you tell them what we're doing here, Dad? We're harrowing the field. Okay, so you're in your pickup and you're just driving around like a madman. That's right. Making a mess of the field. The only difference is I know what I'm doing. Right, yeah. so this last winter, Ken and I, we uh, we drove out into the field and there was snow and we got in trouble for doing that because we, we pushed the snow, the frost into the ground, right? Yeah. So this morning, I look out the window and I see this madman racing around in the fields with his pickup. <laughs> so I called him and I said, hey, there's some jerk out in your field. He's making a mess. Except I said, well, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> exactly. So you were gonna, t you've been saving up a joke to tell me. You, are you ready for the joke already? I kind of think so. Okay, I'm gonna, you know, I usually talk about hunting, but this time I'm gonna talk about fishing. There was this uh, guy and this gal, they were out fishing, and it was almost time for lunch, so he said, well, I'll go and start the barbecue. It was a nice, bright, sunny day, and the lake was calm, and she was out in the boat, two rods up, because she wasn't fishing, and uh, she was reading the book, and this guy comes up, and he said, uh, that he was a cons conservation officer. Okay. And I was your, your uh, fishing license. She said, well, I don't have one. Well, you're out fishing. She said, no, I'm not fishing. I'm reading the book. My husband is in there building this barbecue for dinner and uh, I'm out here just reading the book. Well, he said, I'm gonna have to write you up. And she says, why would you write me up? Because you got all the rigging for fishing. Oh, she said, I'm gonna sue you. And he said, sue me for what? For rape. He said, I never even touched you. Exactly, but you got all the rigging. <laughs> uh, that is very true, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, that's that's a funny one. I like that one. <laughs> so I just want to let you know, Dad, that I went to the gun show on the weekend in Penticton. Yeah. And uh, you've got quite the following down there. I do. You do. People were watching you and... Watching? Uh, I wasn't there. I know, but they've been watching Wisdom Wednesday. Oh. And they were telling me how much they enjoy seeing you and hearing your stories. And uh, yeah. yeah, it's it's good to see you out there. Um, sorry, you missed the gun show, but you had a funeral to go to, didn't That's you? That's right. Yeah. Yeah, I went to this funeral. The guy was 80. He, he was 80 years old on the 22nd of March and he died on the 24th. So he's a young guy like you. Well, actually he was younger than me. I always thought he was older. <laughs> uh, yeah. I heard it was, uh, was talking to another gentleman this morning and I use that term loosely, Dwayne. Um, I was talking to Dwayne from Prairie this Close. morning. Yeah. And uh, he you was know how saying- how he got his number? How he got his number? Your number. Yeah, he got it, he got it from you. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, he was saying that it was almost like an Ellison reunion on Sunday at oh, the uh, at funeral, the funeral. Yeah. Um, well known gentleman. Uh, what is it, Jackie? You call him Jackie, right? Yeah. Jack Joe Hall um, had passed away. So long time resident, and uh, yeah, it's um, so you're preparing for spring. I'm getting ready. I gotta trim these fields up a bit, and there's quite mm -hmm. a bit to do yet. Now that the weather's warmed up. Okay, and you're probably going to start... Uh, Irrigating in two weeks, probably. Okay, and you're already trapping moles. How many moles have you got no, this not year? Not very many, four. Four, okay. Um, so I made a post yesterday about, um, about finding your people and the people that you connect with and, <clears throat> and bring value to your life. And I, I've, I've just wanted to say that I've gotten private messages in regards to that uh, to that post and uh, how it's moved to certain people and I just wanted to share that I, and reiterate that don't settle so don't settle in life for anything in your friendships in your relationships in your jobs anything that you do don't settle if you're not happy find a path forward out of that um, it may not be an easy path you may not have all the answers None of us have all the answers. We just live day to day and, and try to make the best out of each of those days. And if you're not happy for a long time, maybe look in the mirror and maybe that's the reason. It could be, absolutely. Ah, <laughs> uh, dear. Any other jokes? Anything you want to say along that line? 
No, I'm pretty quiet today. You're pretty quiet today? Okay. Well, we just wanted to hop on here real quick. It's uh, it's a short one today. Uh, Dad, I'm keeping him from, from during his fields. And uh, like I said, it's, uh, it's a beautiful day here. We're getting ready for spring. It is here. And um, yeah, live your best life. That's all I got. Yeah, that's about it. How's, how's, how's your life been? Is Busy. it the best one you got? The best one I got. <laughs> Kind of and like the way me. things I, I'm going, I, I'm going to live forever because God gave me so much to do and the way I'm going, I won't get caught up. <laughs> That's a definite way to look at it. I And actually, a gentleman actually liked that comment that we had last week about yep. uh, the, the work is endless, just yep. like the possibilities. And same thing with your life. The possibilities are endless. It's what you put in is what you're going to get out and just keep putting in. So have a fabulous Wednesday, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.